The Mac vs. PC project was made possible by Squarespace. What is up you guys? Welcome to the final video of the Mac vs. PC project. It has been a while since we posted a part 1. It has been a very stressful process getting this entire thing together. Uh, the Mac Pro got sold out so we had to wait a month to get it and it really pushed back the entire project and things got a bit crazy. We do have enough footage here to show a clear winner though when it comes to performance so let's start off by running the benchmarks. I won't go over the specs of the PCs because we've covered that on part 1 of the video which you can find the link in the description down below. Also keep in mind that both the Mac Pro and the Workstation PC are the same price and the purpose of this video is to determine which PC performs the best for the same price. Alright, so we started off with the benchmarks, we uh, ran Cinebench R15 for both computers and skipping straight to the results, it looks like the custom PC got a score of 73 FPS with a CPU score of 710, while the Mac Pro scoring a bit higher getting a 79 FPS score and a 960 for CPU. So already it's doing a bit better than the custom PC which has 8 cores compared to the Mac Pro with only 6. The next benchmark test we ran was Nova Bench, and uh, the custom PC scored a 14.12 while the Mac Pro scored a 19.19. While the RAM scores are relatively the same, the Mac Pro has a much higher score when it comes to CPU, GPU and even hardware tests like writing speeds, which is kind of odd because both PCs do have PCI flash storage. So the Mac Pro already wins on the benchmarks, but how do both PCs perform while using them for actual work? Workstations are not gaming PCs so their main purpose is to actually get work done and I believe in order to test abilities for both PCs we need to have them render intense 3D files. Well we were able to get 3DS Max for the PC version and render one of the templates that arrived with the program and it took a good 19 minutes to render a 5 second scene. Unfortunately, 3DS Max is not available for the Mac Pro. We also looked up alternatives like Cinema 4D and Maya and we just couldn't find a pre-made template to use for the comparison. I feel really disappointed actually seeing as this would have given you guys a much better idea of how each PC would perform. I didn't want to end the video with just running benchmarks so I figured some rendering is better than none so I opened up Adobe Premiere Pro on both PCs and uh, using the same exact settings for both I dragged three video files into the program and rendered them at the same time. Even though the Mac Pro had less cores it finished 5 minutes earlier than the custom PC and based on the benchmarks and overall experience we had with both computers for this past month I have to say that the Mac Pro wins hands down. Honestly, I was never a fan of the Mac Pro, I always thought it was an overpriced waste bin, but after the experience that I went with building the custom PC and running into driver problems and hiccups, I came to the conclusion that it's just not worth it. I believe that it's not about the parts, but how well the parts work with each other, and the Mac Pro comes ready to use with no installation needed, not to mention how quiet it really is when doing work, and all of that is packed into one elegant small design. I honestly thought that the custom PC which had two more cores than the Mac Pro with equal parts would perform much better but I was obviously mistaken. My final thoughts? The Mac Pro is definitely the best choice when it comes down to workstations. There I said it. I'm glad I made this video because it convinced me that I was wrong. I made this mainly to prove that the custom PC would outperform the Mac Pro but never was I so wrong. Anyways, that is it for the video. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with what I said. I will read all of your comments, so whatever is on your mind, feel free to leave them down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Anyways, this is Ed from TechSource, and I'll catch you guys next time. So before I head out, I want to thank the people at Squarespace for making this entire project possible. Squarespace makes it really easy to create your very own website or online portfolio. In fact, we created our own website, techsource.tv, using Squarespace in less than a day, and it turned out exactly how we wanted to. They have so many beautiful templates to choose from to match your needs, or you can even start from scratch like we did. Everything is drag and drop so you don't need to know anything about coding at all and Squarespace really cares about the design so all their templates are extremely clean and allow your content to be the focus of your website. What's also cool is that your website even scales to look amazing on mobile devices. Also starting from today, all Squarespace plans now support commerce functionality which means that you can sell products online no matter which plan you choose. The best part about all of this is that it's free to try. Seriously guys, go ahead and try it out for 14 days and see if you like it. 
All you need is your name, email and password. No credit card is required and if you guys end up loving it, which I'm sure you will, you can use the code TechSource2 for 10% off the already super low prices. This is Ed from TechSource and I'll see you next time. Thank you.